persons to even the point of death. And that is precisely what we are going to talk about today. To do so, we're going to look at first how it affects our health. Second, we're going to look at a positive side of the stress. And finally, what we can do to prevent the stress from affecting us negatively. So first, how it affects our health. And we're going to look at the research of this man, uh, a Stanford University neurobiologist named Robert Sapolsky, who is currently working in understanding how stress impacts our lives. Because it just happens that he has been working for 30 years in, he's been studying for 30 years baboons, who like humans, possess this hierarchical society and have evolved these large brains to help them navigate this complex social order. And his, his question points to, his, his research, sorry, points to this question. Why do humans get more, excuse me, stress-related problems than any other member of the animal kingdom? The answer, he says, is that humans are highly intelligent and organized just enough to devote their free time to being miserable to each other and stressing each other out. And numerous surveys and studies confirm that occupational pressures and fears are by far the leading causes of stress. According to a poll made by the Washington Post, 75% of all doctor's visits are stress-related. And stress is a direct contributing factor to heart attack, stroke, depression, diabetes, obesity, and I could go on. The main, the main problem with stress, according to Sapolsky, is that the body begins shutting down all systems including the immune system. So what stress does is wipe out the ability of your body to begin to heal itself. Therefore, you are vulnerable to get sick, develop some type of disease, or even more frightening, it can lead to cancer. Fortunately, fortunately according to Sapolsky, the goal in life is not to get rid of the stress. The goal in life is to have the right type of stress. Because when it is the right type, we like it. We, we actually pay good money to get a stress. Amusement parks, extreme sports, horror movies, you, you name it. Moreover, healthguide.org reports that the stress response is your body's way of protecting you. When working properly, it can help you stay focused, energetic, and alert. It can also, in emergency situations, it can also use, it can also save your life. For example, hitting the brakes to avoid an accident. But beyond a certain point, the stress stops being helpful and starts causing major damages to your health, productivity, quality of life, quality of life. So, so what can we do? The best thing to do to fight bad stress is to practice a healthy life, lifestyle. Um, I would encourage you to uh, exercise every day for at least 30 minutes. Exercise daily for at least 30 minutes. Eat a healthy diet. Easiest of all, drink enough amounts of water. But also remember that life is full of unexpected events. Um, the best way to deal with surprises is to remember that every problem has a solution. Some might have a simple solution, some might have a complex solution. So like I said before, in, in, in closing, like I said before, the, the goal in life is not to get rid of the stress. Because the stress is a normal physical, physical response of your body. The goal in life is to have the right type of stress. The stress will not even come close to you if you remember, if you take things positively and always try to find out a solution to your problems. So take action now 
And remember, you are in control of your body and in those reactions. Mr. Tells me. Say very relevant in our lives.